Hi, welcome to this presentation. This is Paul Fru from O10 Engineering Services. And this presentation is all about series parallel circuits. If you want to contact us, email us at o10.engineering at tapenewsouthwales.edu.au or phone us on 02 9715 or you can like us on Facebook, O10 Electro Technology or follow us on Twitter, O10 Electrical. So let's begin. Here's a series parallel circuit. We have a 20 ohm, 40 ohm in parallel with a 2 ohm resistor. Now PD means potential difference or the voltage at the supply. Now the question is actually asking how much voltage do you need so 6 amps can flow through the 2 ohm resistor. So how much voltage at the start or pressure at the, at the start will get a 6 amps flowing through the 2 ohm resistor. So I hope you've done your study with series circuits and parallel circuits and we'll now just break it down into those. So this is what we want to know. Here's the current leaving the supply. We'll get to that point there. It will split. Now it won't split equally because those resistors are not equal. They'll join together, then they'll fly, flow back through the 2 ohm resistor. So we're expecting 6 amps to be flowing through the 2 ohm resistor and also through the supply until it gets to that point there. So if we were to put a voltmeter across here, what would be the voltage drop? So from your other studies, we use Ohm's law. Now V2 just means the 2 ohm resistor in this case here equals I times the resistor of 2 ohms. So we've got 6 amps multiplied by 2 ohms. That gives us 12 volts. So we actually get 12 volts across that resistor there. That would be the voltage drop. And my next question is, is that the supply voltage, 12 volts? Well, hopefully you can see that we're going to have another voltage drop across the 20 and the 40 ohm resistor. So zero volts we found along this line here at that point, and also at that point there, and that point as well. And 12 volts will be found at this point here, up to that point there. So so far we know we've only got 12 volts there, which we need to do a bit more working out to work out the voltage drop or the, across the 20 and the 40 ohm before we can actually work out the supply voltage. So what voltage will you read across the 20 and the 40 ohm resistor? So to work out the supply voltage, you will need to know all the voltage drops. That's one way. Or the total resistance and the total current. So we can work this out two ways. So if we set our multimeter set to ohms, what would be the total resistance of this circuit here? So we'll do some calculations here and some mathematics. So firstly, those two there are in parallel. If you remember from your parallel circuits, we used equations to work that out. So because there's two resistors in parallel, we need to break it down to one resistor, also known as the equivalent resistance. And just remember in a parallel circuit, the total resistance in a parallel branch is always smaller than the smallest value of resistance. So we should get a value less than 20 ohms. If we don't, we've made a, an error with our calculations. So here's our equation. RT equals R1 multiplied by R2 over R1 plus R2. We can use the 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 and the 1 over the whole lot. But because we've got two resistors here, we could use this equation here. Just remember it's always multiplied at the top and addition at the bottom. So 20 times 40 over 20 plus 40, that gives you 800 divided by 60. I'll just hold it for a second and you can get your calculator out or you can pause the presentation and, and then do the calculation. And that gives you 13.33 ohms. You can certainly try the other way out, the 1 over 1 over RT, just to double check. Okay, now that we know that, what we're going to do now is to make it one equivalent resistor. So there's our 13.33 ohms. We'll remove all the other cables. And that's our equivalent circuit now. Now that we know that, we knew we had a 12 volt drop across the 2 ohm resistor. What is the voltage drop across that resistor there? Well, we know we had 6 amps flowing through the circuit. So just using Ohm's law, V equals I times R. We have 6, and that's the 6 amps, multiplied by the 13.33 ohms. That gives you 79.98 volts. 
now that we know that, we know the current flowing through the circuit is 6 amps. And this is just an equivalent circuit now because we've broken that 20 and the 40 to make it 13.33. So we now do V equals I times R. And this is the total voltage times the total current times the total resistance. Now that's, we can work out the total resistance because it's now a series uh, circuit now. Again, we've only, brought, we've only brought it down to a series circuit for mathematical uh, sake only. So 13.33 plus the 2 gives you 15.33 ohms. Now that we have that, we have the 6 amps multiplied by the 15.33 ohms and that gives us 91.98 volts. And just to double check, and it's always good to have a second way of checking, remember in a series circuit, the addition of the voltage drop should add up to the supply voltage. So if we add those two together, 79.98 volts plus the 12, hopefully we'll get the same as before, 91.98 volts. So there we go. So we've worked out now the voltage to get 6 amps to flow through the 2 ohm resistor is 91.98 volts. And we've looked at different methods of working out the supply voltage. OK, well, hopefully that's helped you out. And with your understanding of series and parallel circuits, there's plenty more say, examples in your work, in the readings and in your textbooks. Until next time, all the best. Okay, bye for now.